The brewery tours with catchcarry.com continue with a look inside Great Divide Brewery in Denver. This brewery had beer making nailed down from the start and was already winning awards within the first year of opening. And since, the medals have not stopped rolling in. Let's tap the keg on Great Divide. Doug Christie is the marketing coordinator at the brewery, and I know Great Divide is planning to release three new beers this year. One has a touch of Alaska. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, so for our 19th anniversary, we're doing a brand new recipe this year. Um, it's a strong gold nail um, brewed with pure Alaskan birch syrup and aged on birch wood. Um, both those come from Alaska. It's similar to maple syrup, but it's um, That'll kind of That'll make you thirsty hearing oh, about yeah, that. Oh yeah, it's going to be a tasty delicious. beer for sure. And what are the two others? Um, yeah, so we also have new in six packs coming out in April. It's a heyday. It's a Belgian style white ale. Okay. Um, super light refreshing for the spring and summer months, but also full in flavor. It's a great complement to the rest of our beers in our portfolio. And one's still a mystery, right? But I hear that there's another Yeti coming out. There is, yes. So our brewers are working away on a new recipe for a new member of a Yeti clan. Um, Played around a few different ideas, but they're nailing one down. We should know in the next few weeks what that's going to be. And I know that production just keeps increasing, which means another expansion in the tank farm. Yes, just this week. Pretty exciting. We got five new 300 barrel fermenting tanks. Um, so that's 600 kegs in each one of those tanks outside that we have. So with the expansion, how much beer are you guys planning to produce? Um, it gives us a few years of growth. Um, this past year, 2012, we did just over 32,000 barrels of beer. And this year we're hoping to hit somewhere around 40,000. So. And I know Great Divide really strives to use local and unique ingredients. One of my favorite beers is the Espresso Oak Aged Yeti Imperial Stout, made with coffee beans from a local roastery, yeah. Pablo's Coffee. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other ways you guys use unique and local ingredients? Cool, yeah. Um, well, we strive as much as we can to use local ingredients. Um, a lot of our beers use Colorado-grown base malts for the base of the beer. Um, and recently our brewers have been playing around with some fun recipes on our pilot system with some Colorado grown Palisade peaches. That is going to be delicious. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Those beers have been turning out great and who knows, maybe someday we'll brew enough and... Well, I have a feeling that that beer is going to be so popular that you guys might have another expansion coming. We'll see. That sounds good. Something <laughs> might have to happen. Thank you so much for yeah, talking, Doug. Cheers. Thanks for coming back. The Tap Room opens daily at 2 p.m. and hosts several unique events, including Hop Disciples every third Thursday of the month. You can come chat with the brewer. For a complete list of events, visit greatdivide.com.